Okay. So we're back. Time to do the cock story quest. Yeah. For yeah. Exams are straightforward. I'm not sure how much time I have. Don't know if I'll get it finished. We'll see. said to meet her. Do you still remember this place? Paimon remembers we came by here last time we visited Watatsumi Island. That was back when you did your stint as captain of Swordfish 2. Hmm. Paimon's curious whether the Resistance troops still remember you. Things on the island must have changed a lot since then. Oh, shall we take a look around? If the enemy outnumbers you, seek their weakness and exploit it. If you outnumber the enemy, seek unequivocal domination and crush them. Marauders on the waterfront are supplied by sea. Burning their ships is the path to success. Huh. Oh my god, it's Tepe with a mustache. That's where he's been hiding. General Goro, sir. Do, do you have a verdict? Oh, they really reuse a lot of character models, don't they? More or less. From the directives left behind by Her Excellency, we can surmise that a Fatui ship is moored nearby. This explains their aggressive posture. We could split into two teams, one to draw their attention, and the other to circle around behind enemy lines and set fire to their ship. They'd have nowhere to run. Uh, then again, Madame Kokumi made clear that we are not to split up without sufficient forces. We'd risk being picked off one by one until our whole line of defense disintegrated. The defeat in detail. Sir, shall I send for reinforcements? <sighs> I doubt there's time. Based on their movements, they'd likely be gone before our troops arrived. Her Excellency's directives also stipulate that we should wait in ambush and avoid making the first move. Uh, since we lack sufficient troops, I don't think we can afford to engage the enemy at this time. Sir, we're just gonna stand by and watch them leave? Surely there must be another way. Uh, Her Excellency's directives also state help may arrive when all seems lost. As for where this help is supposed to come from, I... Hey, Goro! What are you guys up to? <laughs> Captain, you've returned to Watatsumi Island. That's great! <laughs> Her Excellency's directives are as reliable as ever. You've arrived just in time. Recently, the remnants of the Fatui forces have been unusually active. We've been monitoring their movements, waiting in ambush here. Unfortunately, we don't have the manpower to split into two teams. Can we ask you to keep them occupied? Hard to say no when it's the Fatui. Whatever they're planning, we won't let them get away with it. Good. There's not a moment to lose. We'll go behind enemy lines and sabotage their ship. Let's meet back here afterward. Watch yourselves. We'll be back shortly. Seems like the resistance still remembers us. Come on, let's help them get this situation under control. Anything to beat up the Fatui. Hi there. I'll be your murderer this evening. I just went up a bit. Normally I kill these guys before they bring up their shields. We were 
lucky to have you here. We'd have no way to prevent their escape without you. What's that you're holding? Is it the directors from Kokomi? What's Hyman see? Oh, wow. This is a whole book. Is it all Kokomi's directors? Yeah. Well, no, not all of them. I have five more volumes with me. Are you serious? Her Excellency always plans for every scenario. Plus, these are her general operational directives, which are more comprehensive than most. Still, we're fortunate to have them. They make sure we're prepared for every eventuality, no matter how complex. Oh, understanding every eventuality sounds tiring enough, let alone writing them all down. Must have taken Kokomi a heck of a long time. Captain, are you back on Watatsumi Island to lead Swordfish 2 again? We've all been feeling your absence. Her Excellency says that now is a time of peace and that we should reduce the size of the military and focus on helping the civilian population return to normal life. About half of us are still organized into task forces, supporting the platoons. The other half have been given various other functions like patrol, construction, and farming. Of course, not everyone's happy about it. The other day, an old buddy of mine was grumbling about being forced to build houses. Said they'd have to drag him away from the front line, kicking and screaming. <laughs> the spirit of the resistance is alive and well, huh? Anyway, we're here because Kokomi invited us to the victory feast. Do you know where we could find her, Koro? I believe Her Excellency is currently at Boro Village. There were reports of a possible disturbance over there. If I'm not mistaken, Her Excellency has gone to deal with it in person. We should probably get going ourselves. And, uh, <clears throat> also, on your way over, Please check in on the soldiers. I'm sensing a growing unease among them, but I don't know what's causing it. They won't say. They used to tell me all their concerns, but whatever this is, they're keeping it hidden. I don't like it one bit. I suspect there's trouble afoot. Sounds good. Paimo was just thinking it'd be good to see everyone again. Ready when you are. Ooh, more shit I gotta get done later. <laughs> Haven't explored that much Watatsumi to be honest. Wait, you mean? Aren't you Captain of Swordfish too? Oh, it is you! Oh, you have our gratitude. Watatsumi Island wouldn't have come to peace without your efforts. I wasn't with Swordfish too, but I, I did see you with Tatarasuna. Oh, you really gave it to those shogunate samurai in the fight of honor. <laughs> oh, it was quite the show. Is there anything you need from me? I'm at your service. Uh, on edge, you say? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've noticed it too. In fairness, the battle isn't long over and, well, perhaps it isn't quite over for them. You know what I mean? Every single person looked death in the face that day. It's not an experience you forget in a hurry. Not to mention, I doubt many of them... What does that, what does that mean? No, I think many of them probably would have uh, reservations about it. What if the Shogun's army is just trying to lull them into a false sense of security to crush them when they're not prepared? Victory's declared, and all of a sudden, the fighting's over. But people can't just snap back into normal life again. I think things will improve, but it's going to take some time. I don't know what else it could be, but what I do know is that as long as Her Excellency is with us, Watatsumi Island is safe. And all the more so now that you're back. Seriously, if there's ever anything you need, just say the word. What a nice guy. Let's go ask some other people. Peace at last. Live in the dream. Hmm. Don't I know you? I've definitely seen you somewhere before. Can't place you, but I'm guessing you're not with the Shogun's army. So, do you need something? Unsettled. Hmm. Un unsettled how? I haven't noticed anything. Not that I would, necessarily. I keep to myself, mostly. 
They're all too rowdy for me. We're at peace now, finally. And I, for one, intend to make the most of it. My life right now is about two things and two things only. The sun and the sea breeze. <sighs> Sorry that I can't be more help to you. I'll tell you someone you could ask, though. San Gonamia. She knows everything. Huh. Seems he's about to fall asleep. Let's leave him to rest and go find someone else to ask. Ugh. I don't understand what Her Excellency is thinking. I mean, peace talks? Give me a break. Why would she agree to that? Exactly. Everyone knows you can't trust the Tenryo Commission. I heard they've been secretly coordinating with the Fatui and plan to continue their attacks. Oh look, exactly what I mentioned either. People not being able to trust peace. Wait, for real? You're sure of this? Positive. Some of our guys had a run-in with a few Fatui. They caught them conspiring together firsthand. I knew it! The Tenryo Commission are a bunch of crooks. They'll never change. Honestly, it's kind of naive for Her Excellency to take them at their word, isn't it? Shh, keep your voice down. Someone's coming. Hey there, what you talking about? Uh, Captain, you're back. Do you think we should tell the Captain about what we were discussing just now? No, let's not mention it. She's one of her closest advisors. For all we know, the peace talks could have been her idea. I'm sure the Captain would see where we're coming from, but... You're right. We should probably play it safe. <laughs> Buddy, we're standing right next to you, you know the... Uh, welcome back to Watatsumi Island, Captain. Nothing to report here. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Her Excellency should be in the village at present. Head straight over if you wish, Captain. Hmm. Paimon definitely detected some hush-hush going on there. But if they aren't gonna talk, we might as well head over to the village. We know you've been secretly supplying the Tenryo Commission with goods purchased on Watatsumi Island. Um, yeah. I knew something was off about a Tenryo Commission merchant doing business here. So, what do you have to say for yourself, huh? I'm innocent. Ha! You're as guilty as they come. You never should have been allowed to set foot on this island, let alone do business here. Take them away. Wait! Your Excellency, this merchant is suspected of criminal activity, so we seized him for questioning. Our surveillance shows that in his whole time here, he has made numerous purchases, but no sales. And yet, he has no stock in his possession. We believe it's highly probable that he has been supplying the Tenryo Commission behind the scenes. I... I haven't! I, uh... I mean, that doesn't really make sense. Why would you assume that the Tenryo Commission needs to be supplied by a random merchant buying shit from you? Seems to me they'd have more resources than you do. <laughs> Given they're the, like backed by the actual government of your country. <sighs> that will do. Let's not let ourselves get too worked up here, shall we? Everyone take a deep breath with me. In. And out. Better? Matsuda, Uchimura, I understand that you're concerned for the safety of Watatsumi Island. But before we make any decisions over whether this merchant is guilty or not, we must give him the chance to explain himself. If he's guilty, of course, there will be consequences. But if he's innocent, he doesn't deserve to be falsely accused. This is Watatsumi Island. We deal in facts, not opinions. Excuse me, sir. As you know, my subordinates have some concerns surrounding your commercial activity here. Perhaps you could explain your side of the story to help me reach a verdict. Of course! I can explain everything. <laughs> um, I, I'm a trader on the island, so naturally I built up some inventory. I was planning to hold off on selling until the prices went up, but then, um... Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, oh, but then I was robbed by the Fatui. 
They took everything. Now you think about that. First I lose all my inventory, then I get treated like a criminal. Hmm. <laughs> and why should we believe you? So what? That doesn't prove they took his goods. And even if they did, it'll still end up in the Tenryo Commission's hands. They're in this together. What? The Tenryo Commission are colluding with the Fatui now? This is the first I've heard of it. Wait, why are you surprised by that? They literally did, didn't they? It'd be the, like, how the fuck would the Fatui set up a delusion factory on, uh, on Inazuma without the, without the uh, Tenryo Commission's permission? Ah, I suppose it is true. What's that got to do with me? What, the Tenryo Commission start colluding with the Fatui after the fighting's already finished? Hmm, seems unlikely to Paimon. We met a representative of the Kujo clan recently. It doesn't seem like he'd have the time to be colluding right now. Oh yeah, because this takes place after the, uh, after the Raiden Shogun story quest. So, we just watched Buddy get beaten up canonically. <laughs> brought to my attention, yes. We are scheduled to begin peace talks with the Tenryo Commission soon. The Kamisoto clan has arranged for them to take place in a neutral location. Kujo, Sara, and I will be accompanied by our guards. We will use the talks to discuss future plans in detail. But just as arrangements for the peace talks began to fall into place, I started hearing rumors of collusion between the Kujo clan and the Fatui. Uh, allegedly, their goal is to completely wipe out Watatsumi Island. If that's the case, then the peace talks are likely a trap. Even the Kamisato clan could be involved. Sir, are you quite certain that your goods were stolen by the Fatui? Yes, it's the truth. I, I swear. They stole my goods and then they ran off that way. I bet that's where that hideout is. Very well. Mm. The potential ramifications of this incident are serious. We will retrieve your goods, and if everything is in order, it will prove your innocence. However, if we find evidence to corroborate the claims of collusion between the Fatui and the Tenryo Commission, I expect you to fully comply with our investigation. Do we have an understanding? Yes, of course. <sighs> Thank you, Your Excellency. Matsuda? Uchimura? Well received, Your Excellency. Good. Now, Traveler. I mean, Captain of Swordfish Platoon Section 2. Would you join me in the investigation? <laughs> Good. I look forward to seeing how you've progressed lately. Uh, I also have a few new things to teach you. Alright, follow me. If we do find the merchant's goods in the hands of the Fatui, it'll prove he's innocent. Whatever is going on between the Fatui and the Tenryo Commission, we need to get to the bottom of it. camp that the merchant was talking about from the looks of it it used to be a hillichurl camp who knows why the fatui occupied it uh looks pretty heavily guarded how are we supposed to get in not by brute force that's for sure but that's not a problem the terrain here gives us an advantage and we haven't given away our position so far our enemy is in the light while we are in the shadows strategically we have the upper hand. Hmm. I think we have three options available. Option one. Take the king and its checkmate. The Fatui's presence in Inazuma is weak at present. Nothing more than a few scattered remnants. If we strike from above and take down their leader first, the rest of them will be hard-pressed to put up a serious fight. Option two. Hit them where it hurts. Over there, for example. A store of gunpowder cakes. If we manage to discreetly set the gunpowder alight without alerting them, it would deal them a devastating blow. 
they'd be caught completely off guard. Both their morale and fighting capacity would be severely impaired. Option three, use the environment against them. We're close to the sea here, so the air is very humid. I can gather the water vapor, you add a touch of lightning, and together we can shock them into submission. Wow, that's our grand strategist. It's a lot to think about, though. Which option should we choose? The third one, obviously, that's the most interesting. It will depend on our assessment of our own abilities. A surprise attack from the air is the quickest solution, but requires superior combat skills. With an explosion, we could rapidly reduce their numbers without a protracted battle, but absolute stealth would be required during the operation, or we'd risk exposing ourselves. If we decide to take advantage of the environment, we should be prepared for a lengthy siege. So, which is your preferred option? All right. We'll draw them out first to minimize damage to the camp itself. I haven't had much chance to fight alongside you in the past. I'm not sure I'll be able to keep up with your pace. Still, not to worry. Even if I can't claim to be a warrior myself, I'm no stranger to the battlefield. This fight should be well within my capabilities. Okay. Let's clear out the camp and find out what they've been up to. Their movements have become rigid and sluggish. We make a good team. What was the power of the wall? Scatter! Anatole. No, my soul. Rain cutter. Turret, Hold the line. Hi there, Anatole. Can't run from debt. Excellent work. We gave them the cock. <laughs> All thanks to your genius tactics. Actually, even the best tactics live or die on the strength of those executing them. Winning a battle takes a concerted effort from everyone involved. Victory never belongs to a single person. Now that you mention it, Paimon did make a pretty big contribution, huh? Hey! I must admit, I wasn't expecting to find the Fatui laying low in a Hillichurl camp. Presumably, they've been operating out of here in secret for quite some time. What's their objective? Are the soldiers right? Could they really be in collusion with the Tenryo Commission? Mm, let's scour the camp for evidence. If the merchant's story is true, the inventory should be here. All right, time to take a look around. These are the Fatui food supplies? They look a little past their best. Is this really all they had to eat? Whoa, this place is chock full of bomb making materials. Hey, look here. Could these belong to the merchant? There's a lot of stuff. Some of it has the Terrio Commission emblem. Yep, this has got to be it. Kokumi! Kokumi! We found the merchant's staff! Look! Hmm. I see. Oh, nothing. I just zoned out for a moment. Let's see here. Yes, these are the stolen goods, all right. Food, 
medicine, farming tools... All essential for post-war recovery. And he was probably stockpiling them until he could make a handsome profit. By contrast, it's doubtful that the Tenryo Commission has any need of these items. So the idea that he was supplying them doesn't make a lot of sense. In all likelihood, he's just an opportunistic merchant. Nothing quite as scandalous as Matsuda and Uchimura had imagined. Uh, he's hardly a saint though, right? How could he stockpile things that people are desperate for? We're not just gonna give them back to him and let him go, are we? Well, it doesn't feel right. Don't worry. I had already foreseen this. In my recently issued post-war temporary decree, I included restrictions on the prices of essential everyday goods. These items will ultimately reach the people at a reasonable price. If he had taken the time to read the decree, it's unlikely he ever would have ended up in this predicament. Kokomi, you think of everything! <sighs> I wish that were true. Take this alleged collusion between the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui, for example. I'm still completely stumped. <sighs> the low energy doesn't exactly help. Uh, huh? What do you mean by that? Nothing. Come on, let's take the goods back. It's not long now until the victory feast. It'll be a race against the clock to get all of this resolved before it starts. Got it! First we mend the peace, then we attend the feast! <laughs> My goods! You got them back, huh? Thank you, Your Excellency. And thank you, Captain. Uh, you see, I, I told you I was innocent. Hmm, I'm not so sure. You could have easily planned the whole thing with the Fatui in advance. Based on the information we gathered from the Fatui camp, there's nothing to suggest he had any correspondence with them. Not to mention, why the fuck would the why, why would he collude with the Fatui to get a Fatui camp destroyed? Why the fuck would the Fatui agree to that? What would that gain? <laughs> Had it been the case, then knowing how the Fatui operates, they would have left some evidence of it. Uh, but, what if- No ifs, no buts. We recovered the goods. As agreed, this is sufficient to establish his innocence. Uh, apologies. Guess we got carried away. <laughs> ah, what did I tell you? You army numbskulls don't have a clue. All brawn and no brains coming to me with your crazy conspiracies. Lay off me next time, got it? Sir, I'm afraid you're getting ahead of yourself. You may be innocent of the accusations originally leveled at you, but hoarding essential goods is a crime under the temporary decree. You must bear the consequences. You have already admitted to being the owner of these goods, so we are obliged to respond with appropriate measures. In addition to enforcing the sale of these goods at the accepted rates, there will also be a fine. The amount of which... Wait, 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 Your Excellency, whose side are you on here? I have no business taking sides. As the Divine Priestess of Watatsumi Island, I abide by the principle of clear and consistent rewards and punishments. Just as merit must be recognized, mistakes must be penalized. You may have been proven innocent of the more serious allegations leveled at you, but this does not exempt you from bearing the consequences of your mistakes. Wait a minute, I... but... Uh... Well, don't just stand there. Take him away. Time to pay up. Your Excellency, he says all the goods belong to him, but it doesn't add up. Those of a Tenryo Commission emblem are probably his, but not the rest. Especially these ones. They're clearly for shrine use. Mm. It seems the Fatui simply dumped all their stolen goods in one place. 
Leave the shrine paraphernalia to me. As for the rest, I'll leave you to sit through and try to track down the owners. I know, that's a lot to ask. Not at all, Your Excellency. We're on it. But if I may, Your Excellency, maybe there were no signs of collusion in this case. But our people know what they saw. Something is going on between the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui. I know the peace talks are coming up, so please keep an open mind. I understand your concern. I'll be sure to give it further consideration. Hmm. I'm going to take these items back to the Sangonomiya Shrine. Why don't you come along for the walk? Take a walk with Kakomi. The Island observes different customs than the rest of Inazuma. I imagine it must all seem a little alien to you. This is one of these long walking sequences. Why can't it just be a dialogue? All they're doing is making me hold the forward, okay? since I last came to this village. There's been a lot to deal with recently. Next time you visit, I'll take you to visit Watatsumi Island's old shrine. You know, the earliest shrine on Watatsumi Island was not located in Sangonomiya. It was close to the Statue of the Seven. Back then, the people of this island recognized the Shogun's existence, despite not venerating her as the Shogunate do. But after she struck down our protector deity, the shrine was abandoned. Relations between Watatsumi Island and the Shogunate have soured ever since. Mistrust has become deep-rooted over time. I've been hoping to raise all this at the peace talks and discuss it properly. Grievances have to be let go eventually. Your Excellency, what brings you out this way on your busy schedule? Oh my, you're looking a little worse for wear. You need to take better care of yourself, okay? All of our fates depend on you. Hmm. Thanks for your concern, but I'm fine. Your Excellency, I beg you, heed a word of advice. After all this time fighting the Shogun's army, peace is not something that can simply be declared. If we reconcile with them, the god who once protected us will have died in vain. Come on, that's ancient history. Besides, the fighting is barely over. We should be grateful to be at peace once more. I know, I know, it's just... Uh, we should remain strong in these negotiations. We mustn't be too ready to compromise. I appreciate your concerns. I will consider the options carefully, and be sure to proceed appropriately. Wonderful. We're all counting on you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency? Well, I'll be... Fancy meeting you at a place like this. Uh, do you know, my daughter's enrolled herself in the Shrine Maiden selection process this year. I if she makes it into Sangonomiya, I'll... I'll be one very happy mother. You're a kind and gracious leader. She'd be in very good hands. I'm always telling my daughter that if she gets the chance to learn from Her Excellency directly, she must make the most of it. I mean, just look at Her Excellency, still so young, but so mature and intelligent. My daughter has always looked to you as a role model. Well, if she comes to Sangonomiya, I'll look out for her. Ah, Your Excellency. Boy, am I glad you're here. As you know, agricultural output has taken a pretty big hit this year. Let me bring you up to speed on the latest situation. Oh, uh, Your Excellency! Isn't this the captain of Swordfish 2? Will she be based on Watatsumi Island from now on? Your Excellency! 
Please, remain calm, everyone. I'll get around to all your queries. Though, for the longer ones, I'd prefer it if you could write a report and submit it to the shrine. Then I can respond to each one as and when I have the time. <sighs> Are you alright? Every Genshin woman is overworked. <laughs> this kind of thing is water off a duck's back for you, huh? Your Excellency, here you are. There's been a situation. We're still waiting on the delivery of a whole batch of ceremonial items. I'm beginning to worry that they've been stolen. Oh, we retrieved those already. No need to worry. Really? That's fantastic! You never cease to amaze us, Your Excellency. I sorted through all the petitions received recently and placed them on your desk. Also, according to the schedule, you are just in time for your meeting today on the development of the textiles industry. That's today? <sighs> right now? Yes, the two young ladies have arrived safely. We're just waiting for you. Hmm... I see... <sighs> I was hoping to take a walk around the island with you, but it looks like we'll have to save that for some other time. <sighs> well, let's rendezvous tomorrow at the entrance to Sangonomiya Shrine. Then we'll go and make preparations for the victory feast. Yay! The victory feast! Um, just to be clear, we're talking lots of delicious food, right? <laughs> That's the name of the game. There'll be some Watatsumi Island specialties, which I'm sure you'll enjoy. Great! See you tomorrow, then! <sighs> well... What is it? I've just realized that I might have something to do... ...for a bit. So I'm gonna have to get off, I think. Really unfortunate that they cut it this short, but shit happens. Something just been brought to my attention. Nothing serious, but... I might not have as much time as I thought to today.